Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care. So today we are doing a natural shortcut. I've already gone through, washed her, silked her, cut her, and then I had to mold her. So it, it takes a lot when you're doing silk presses, especially um, or you're doing shortcuts on natural hair sometimes, depending on the texture. So I had no choice but to do it that way. When she came prepared, she knew that it was a process. So we got her short. Now we're going to go through and finish out her cut. She's gonna have the top a little bit longer, meaning she wanted to keep as much hair in the top as possible. And then on the sides and the back, we're gonna cut it down. All right, so first things first, um, she's already been molded using wrap foam, all that good stuff. So so what I do is use a little bit of heat protectant and shine serum, which is our frizz tamer and shine serum, and put that on her hair. My hot comb is already in the stove heating. At this point, I like to use the hot comb, especially for short hair like hers, because it just does the job right away. So all you're going to do is just throw a tilt down from your mama. This part... Some people are a little bit scared of, but if you do it right, you won't have to worry. That's the easiest way to do it. So whenever you're trying to hot comb um, short natural hair, if you go against the grain, meaning in the opposite direction, you actually silk it a lot faster and everything lays down. And she is 100% natural. We didn't texturize her. We didn't do anything. This is just silk pressing. And then as you finish, you're gonna comb her back down so you can keep the shape of your mold. But the only way or the easiest way to get this hair straight instead of trying to go with the grain is to go against the grain and then mold it back down when you're done. So that's what we're doing. So my client is actually on the live, right? Yeah. So if I see her on there, her name is Kimberly. Say hi. This her hair. Something bit me. Hello. <laughs> She's in the chat too, so you guys can see her and talk to her and ask her questions if need be. So we're just heating our iron again. Okay, you're gonna hold the ear. And then you're just going to go against the grain to get the hair straight. And then as you finish, you mold her right back in place. That's how you keep it flat. This part can be a little scary for clients because they're looking at it like, oh my gosh, I have short hair and she's hot combing my half an inch of hair. <laughs> yes, I am. It says, um, Lolita mm -hmm. says, um, how do you ship your products outside the state? She lives in the Netherlands. Um, in the Netherlands, you have to actually email me for me to send you an invoice. Shipping internationally through outside of the U.S. and Canada is $38 for six-day shipping or $28 for 10 to 20-day shipping. So that's the only shipping options you have. And then you let me know whatever products you want, that kind of thing. So send me an email to info at EliteHairCareUSA.com and then I will get you an invoice so you can pay that way. You just can't do it on the website because... Um, Wix does not like international cards. But trust me, there's always a way. So 
So I'm just going to get the bottom part down here by her neck, and then we are going to get started in the actual style portion. I'm going to cut her a little bit, but then we're going to do the styling. And I did use wrap foam when I was actually molding her. You don't have a choice. You have to use wrap foam for that to work. All right, to the back for me. So what we're gonna do is just go through and clean up her cut, if any. Now she is short, so I can't cut her too short. Or that hair is just gonna go and just draw right back up. And the reason why the process for this is a little bit longer is because I had to silk her out first to cut her down. And then I had to mold her after and put her back under the dryer after silking her out because I need that cuticle to lay. Natural hair cuticle does not lay down unless you have a certain hair texture and ours grows out, not down. So you're kind of like forcing it to lay down. That's why we use the wrap foam. And when you do that, you have to be very quick or that hair reverts within minutes, sometimes seconds. So we're almost done with the sides and the back and now we'll get started in regards to curling. And I'm going to do what we call 3D waves on her so you'll be able to see what that looks like. So her top is still soaked out, so we're not going to mess with her top too much. Hayden says, what could it be if your hair smells burnt when using the curling iron and the curling iron only has one setting? Um, it's probably doing just that or you have product in your hair. So the way to tell if the iron is actually too hot or burning you is to feel your hair. But sometimes, even when I'm silk pressing, if there's product on your hair, it's going to quote unquote, burn it, and then it's gonna give you an odor. So I'm, I'm not certain, but I would definitely invest in an iron that has a temperature setting. A lot of those irons that don't have a temperature setting, that means that they're at the max all the time. So be careful with those. But smelling a burning smell doesn't mean that it's burning, but you still need to be mindful and, and check on it to make sure. You'll, you'll tell if it, you'll know if it's burning. That hair will be, it'll be discolored. It'll turn a very light color brown, like you really singed it. It'll pop off. 
if you don't feel any of that, then it's probably just product on your hair. Especially if you have a heat protectant on there, it's gonna make a smell. It's gonna have a smell. All right, so before I do that, let me focus on her top really quick. So her top was already silked out. I wanted to keep as much body and volume as possible. So all I'm gonna do is clean it up. And all I'm doing is notching to blend her hair in with her cut. She wants to keep as much length as possible, especially in the front. So I'm using this just to kind of blend towards her face, but I'm not gonna cut a lot in the face. Um, Alice Hayden again says, is there a good product to use on my hair while using the curl for protection? Um, any heat protectant is fine. As long as it's up to uh, at least 425 degrees. Um, I have a product which is the Free Tamer and Shine Serum. That's what I use on her hair. You only use like a dime to a nickel size drop and distribute it through the hair. But any heat protectant is fine as well. Anyone that you like. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start curling her. And what I'm going to use is a little bit of Sebastian Shaper. You can use a wet spritz, but you don't want the hair to revert really quickly. That's why I'm gonna use like an aerosol because it dries on the ink, like on, on contact almost. So we're gonna start with the curling. Unfortunately with natural hair, you can't really leave it the way it is. That's not really an option. I'll bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see. Can you see? Yes? Okay, good. So we're going to use our small iron here. These are called 3D waves, by the way. So you know what, here, I'm going to do you guys an even better favor. So I'm going to draw all the way up, and then I'm going to tilt you over my shoulder so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now you can really see what I'm doing. So that's what you call a 3D wave on natural hair. How does it look? Yeah, so is it like when you press it, is it closing the curl like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So her question was, when I press it, does it close the curl down? Yes. But so makes it flat on the head. So we're creating waves. And everybody's like, wait, did she get closer? I wanna <laughs> see. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see. So we have created waves. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Nice, now you can see. So this is what you call a 3D wave. It's great for people who have natural hair who want that wave style? Unfortunately, <laughs> way where life is set up, you can't get the regular wave. <laughs> so we're, we're just gonna give you whatever kind we can get. So this is why we call it a 3D wave. 
And I learned this wave technique from another stylist by the name of H Styles in Philadelphia, whom I really like her work. So big ups to H Styles in Philly for showing the world this technique. And now I am showing it to you. This takes about the same amount of time it would to do a regular curl. So why not give your client some spunk? <laughs> Bobby Jean says, did you get your warehouse completed? Nope. After work today, I'm going to go over there and finish up. But I'm also still processing orders too, so I'm kind of in between everything. But thank you for asking. My goal right now is to get all these orders shipped out from last week because I'm severely behind. I did not expect the sale to go that well, but God is good. All right, so for those of you who want to see, this is where we are with her 3D wave. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Nice. Here, I'll bring you guys one a little closer. That's what they look like. I truly wish I could play music while on YouTube. YouTube is so not friendly. Maybe I need to make my own music so I can play it. And you can't flag me for anything. So you'll keep seeing me touch her hair because I'm trying to set it. You always want to make sure that you set it. It's no different from makeup. You have to set the hair too. It's still warm. So by using my hand, I'm cooling it down and locking it in place. And don't forget, she is natural. Very natural. Yes. Like, very, very natural. Yeah, for real. You hot? No. Okay. Are you sweating? I'll bring you guys around in just a minute. Let me work on this hairline here. And then when you're done, you definitely can put a little bit of holding spray just so it'll actually stay for a little bit. <laughs> Keep in mind, shortcuts, guys, on natural hair is not a longevity kind of style.
three. Game three scissors. I guess you can cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Thank you. So, 3D waves. On 100% natural hair. Now for the side that's going to go under the long hair, I'm not going to 3D wave that. That's a waste of time. Says she loves them 3D waves. Thank you. So on this side, because this hair is gonna come over here, I'm not gonna 3D wave it too much because it's gonna get disturbed anyway. So for this side, I'm just gonna curl it towards her face. Eighth Wanda of the world says, wow, beautiful. Thank you. So what I'm doing on this side, as I was saying earlier, is I'm curling this towards her face, except for down here, where I'm going to create the wave. But on the side that I'm going to be covering with longer hair, there's no point of me 3D waving that area. That area is not going to be exposed. smiley face emoji. Thank you. <laughs> My client's moderating for me, guys. <laughs> or narrating. I guess that's narrating her. Right? Yeah, trying to keep up, make sure I get everybody's comment. Aziz says, girl, you know, your hair is looking all kinds of off young. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and style her top. So what we'll do is we'll take the bathroom shaper, my fave, as you know. And then we're going to start in the back and just give her a quick curl up. Okay, I'll move you guys back so you can see what I'm doing. Texas guy, is bomb fire. Thank you. And then what I'll do is I'll also suggest using your um, Sebastian Schaefer around the sides and the back really quick just to kind of set it in place for a little longevity. And then just use your hands and just kind of press it in. Can you lift the camera up a little bit more, please? I 
can. Yes, I'm sorry. My fault. There we go. We're there. That, that was my. I thought it was up high enough. Thank you for letting me know, though, because this video is going to be saved and then people are going to be. Oh, so you, we can't see anything. <laughs> it was fuzzy. <laughs> no subscribe. You know, people are a little cuckoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Angel J says she loves your channel. Thanks for your wisdom. Thank you. And thank you for being on my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you who tune into my lives. I'm going to be doing a Q&A session after this. So if you guys have any type of hair care questions, you'll see me come back on live. It will say Q&A. And that is when you can ask me your hair care questions. Thank you, Glaze. <laughs> Glaze is on it. Glaze, you must be off today. I'm not saying her name all kind of wrong. Sorry. It's so funny. My sister just, she says, my daughter is watching. She says she likes my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter is watching? Yes. <laughs> really? And she told me earlier, you can't get your hair cut because then you look like a boy. I said, no, that's not true. <laughs> Well, her hair is banging, honey. She doesn't work. She's just watching your waiting for your mods to come up. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> So for those of you who might not be subscribed to my channel, maybe you stumbled upon it. Maybe you were just like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe yes, to a, me. It's addictive. It's good to watch. It is addictive. <laughs> I actually come on here out of love and joy. Like I enjoy actually showing people how to do stuff. So you guys are always welcome on my channel. And then turn on your little notification bell. You'll never miss a live. All right, so it's time for the reveal. It's time for the cut out. Oh my, the gloss on your hair. Girl, you know you get cut up. Yes, you did a great job. Yes. Hair. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put your foot on her hair, Q. All right, tilt up for me. Go ahead and look up in that nice camera there. So even though she's natural, you don't have to know that she's natural, right? You can just give her a good accentuation, right? So what we're going to do is pull this bad baby in her face here because she wanted all kinds of movement and such going on. Yes, girl. Oh, I almost dropped my comb in your face. <laughs> Come through, curls. Come through. <laughs> hey, the one that the world said, do mine. <laughs> hey, I'm in Orlando slash Altamont, so I am definitely reachable. I'm only a flight away. <laughs> My mom was traveling from Panama City. She was like, yep, I'm coming. So this way for me, I want you guys to see this. You guys see this here? You see this, this glow up here? Oh, oh. With all the body and all that good stuff, like you. Know? <laughs> Angel J says this channel is addictive and educational. Yes, it is. Thank you, Angel J. All right. So let's Thank turn you. it around so you can see it. Yeah. Tilt down for me. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So let's take this part off so you guys can really see this, this style here. She said, 
she said that's tonight, my girl. <laughs> Listen, now that's <laughs> all right. So what I'm gonna do because she bends her head slightly, I'm going to cut that hair off so that it doesn't disturb the back of her head and it actually looks like she got some type of uh, cut. Thank you. So we're just taking a little bit of the hair off. And then we'll dust her off. Which I kind of should have done before I started cutting. But Please, can we see a close-up of the hair? Yes, I shall. Give me <laughs> two and a half seconds. Let me get this little sideburn here that I left out. So it was safe for me. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the car down. And I'm going to give you guys, of course I know, okay. So you can see a close-up of this hair. 3D waves. That's the back. Head up for me. That is her front. And that was the reason why I didn't want to 3D wave over here because I want all that hair to just blend on in. And then we're going to turn her to the front front. And she has all the body. Turn this way for me. She got all that going on. And she is 100% natural. No relaxer, no texturizer, nothing. Just a hot comb um, for shampoo and conditioner. I use actually my shampoo and conditioner. Yes, tell them how you liked it. How did you like it? See, yeah. and I want you to be honest. How did you like it? The shampoo was the, the thing for me was that conditioner because when she went to comb my hair, it just glides right on through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes so the shampoo and conditioner is on pre-sale on my site guys it's on pre-sale right now okay and we didn't put any type of chemical um in regards to like a chemical straightener or smoothing system nothing this is all natural we just used a hot comb some good product some tlc and we cut that baby off this is all some of the hair that's left over <laughs> But that's not, that's not even half of the hair we cut off today. So, yep, she's good to go. All right, people. Can't show you my face until I'm about, um, I'm molded. So, you guys, definitely join back on in the next about five to ten minutes. I'll be doing a live Q&A where you will have the ability to ask me your hair care questions, product questions, that kind of thing. I'm actually going to be combing this head of mine on live today and then you guys will be able to question it all see you guys and don't forget